getting the early start that I'm supposed to get. Still a little late. I, I was starting at like 5 a.m. because I'd be up at like 3. Um, but it's 6, 6 19 now. So I'm gonna go run some people to work, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, people need rides to work, you know, it's not always just about uh looking out for self and trying to make some money, you know. You want to make some money while you're helping people out, you know. People got to get to work. So, that's what we're going to do this morning at 6.19. So, I'm on my way out from uh, New Leicester Highway. New Leicester Highway. And um, the next stop is like 16-minute drive for me and a 6-minute trip. Why that is deceiving is because, like, I live in a smaller town. I live in the country. I'm way out Leicester. It's going to take me that long to get back into town. I'd have to drive that anyway. So, yeah, the hope would be that I could pick somebody up in Leicester and take them out and, and come back into town paid. But I'd have to come back into town anyway. So, at least now when I get into town, I do have another stop to do. Hopefully, that stop will take me somewhere where there's another stop. But I'm almost ready to wrap it up. So what I tend to do is I'll turn it off before I pick them up because my thing will chime as soon as I get them in the car. And um, wait until I drop them off to turn it back on. That's kind of the only little trick you can use around here to kind of control where you're going. Um, like I said, and try to control that B to A because if you drop me off, near my house i'm probably just going to end it for now and come back out later but if you, you know what i mean i'm not going to have you drop me off near my house and then pick somebody up all the way across town like i'm not going to do that so i'm gonna um new message from marcus i'm in room seven it's right in the middle i'm in room seven it's right in the middle I just got a message from the person i'm getting ready to pick up but yeah so it's kind of deceiving. Like I said, I wasn't going to do any that, you know, my drive time was bigger than theirs, but you can't really do that around here because, like I said, it would take me 10 minutes to drive back into town anyway. And I'd have to make that drive anyway. Um, it's not a big city where you can just sit in one spot and pick up route after route after route. Whenever you drop them off, you're really going to have to drive um, a, at least five minutes to pick somebody else up unless you're dropping people off downtown which is typically a weekend thing so more learning more learning but like i said from what my uh, experience is out here it's better in this area to just turn it on decide what hours you're going to work turn it on and just run you know i'm trying to calculate and figure out what's what it's going to leave you frustrated and it's not going to really work. You're not going to be able to do it because you're, you're, we don't know how much money we're making and we don't know how much we're dropping them or we don't know where we're dropping them off before we accept the ride. So it is what it is. It is what it is. So I'm on my last way in and I thought I would say now that one I was just talking about that I had to drive all the way back into town for that was like a 15 minute my time to get their trip he only went a mile and a half so i made like 473 or 472 but then he gave me a three dollar tip so i made seven dollars on a mile and a half so like i said i would have had to drive back into town anyway so i mean around here you kind of just have to take the trips like yeah, get you a car that's good on gas and take the trips um, make sure that your car is clean and um, I've got the candies in the back you know and just be real professional and let them tip you because around here Uber's not really charging them a lot for these rides so they are they have room to tip and they are tipping and I get $20 tips all the time I get $10 tips all the time. I appreciate the, the smaller tips. Like, I appreciate all the tips. I don't have anything in my car that says tip me or anything. And I do get $10 and $20 tips all the time. So, it's, it's more about the fact that my car is clean. Like, they've, they've comment, com commented on the fact that other Uber drivers around here, their cars are not clean. Um, they drive kind of reckless, you know, things like that. So, um, 
I don't do those things. I'm very professional. Um, my car is clean. It smells good. I have candies back there and I do follow all traffic stuff. I use my turn signal, all that stuff. So all that stuff is important. It's all important. 